welcome back to Pentor Cars, Cornish Car Collectors. Now you'll see that we're out and about today in our Ford Focus RS Mark I, here driving and enjoying these beautiful Cornish coastal roads. I'll share a little bit more about this car uh, a little bit later on in this video, some of the things that we've been up to with it since we last featured it in our first video. But it's fair to say that I love cars and I need cars. And I've been a big car fan for, well, as long as I can remember. That's thanks largely to being born into a car mad family. Um, and I've been collecting modern classic cars now for the past sort of 10 years, bringing together a, a, a collection of vehicles that I consider to be quite special. And usually uh, we'd be out using the cars, we'd be out showing the cars, but this COVID malarkey really has put a stop to all of that for the past 18 months so we thought we'd try YouTube and this is now our 10th video and I'm so pleased to say that we passed the 100 subscribers mark a couple of weeks ago and also we've had now over six and a half thousand views on the nine videos that we've posted so thanks so much to everyone who's watching who's subscribed who's left us a comment who's clicked like and who's supported us it it really is great, it means a great deal. We really enjoy sharing the cars with you and we're so pleased that so many of you are watching. So, being our 10th video, I thought that I'd share with you what you can expect from Pentor Cars, Cornish car collectors, in the near future. We can also take a glimpse into the Pentor Cars collection and recap on uh, the nine cars that we featured so far here on the channel starting with this our mark one ford focus rs now the rs was actually our first video that we posted and has gone on to prove to be our most successful but that is mainly down to the celebrity of the car more so than the channel now you'll remember that we actually bought the ford focus rs uh, sight unseen from a commercial auction last year. We've done a few jobs to it. We had to replace the starter motor and uh, we restored the boot lid. And thanks to all those that pointed out that I had in fact stuck the badge on a bit wonky uh, in the comments of the last video. We also started the restoration of the interior of the car, putting the center console back to standard. It looks great. And that work has continued and it continued with the purchase of a steering wheel. So here it is, our lovely leather trimmed original RS steering wheel. I'm going to use this one to replace the existing Alcantara one that we featured before. Uh, I've already taken off the cowling and the remote stereo stalk, put that over there. Now we need a little 5.5mm uh, torque just to take the airbag unit off. We've already taken one side off, we'll now do the other. Just remember if you're ever going to do this, disconnect the battery and leave the car about half an hour before you start messing around with the airbag. Here we go. Okay now for the steering wheel and uh, for this we need a 24mm socket. Remember to keep the steering wheel nice and straight before you do this and uh, just release the bolt to begin with. Here we go. Success, we've got them off. The Alcantara steering wheel will probably sell that one. And this Alcantara finished dash around with the air and fuel ratio mix gauge, the aftermarket one that we didn't really want in the car. So let's go about fitting the standard parts. So here's our original dash piece. We've transferred the boot release button from the old Alcantara dash to this one. And we've taped up those sockets for that aftermarket gauge, just in case anyone ever wants to put it back in the future. So let's fit this.
That looks great. I'm chuffed to bits with it. We'll just put the cowl lid back on and the stereo stalk and uh, then we're ready to take this one out for a nice test drive to see if uh, this is okay and the airbag light doesn't come on. Then after that we've only got one more job to do and that's correct that wonky badge that I stuck on in the last video. So join us as we do that. Wow, just by fitting the original steering wheel and the original surround to the instrument cluster has absolutely transformed the interior of this car. It feels perfect. And now that COVID restrictions have lifted sufficiently, we can actually have small gatherings outside. So we're taking this car this weekend into Devon for a classics and coffee morning. I can't wait. I bloody love this thing. So what about some of the other cars that we featured on the channel? Well, you see, the reason for choosing some of the cars seen so far on the channel as features for our early videos is because we had intended to sell some. Video 2 was our lovely Peugeot 205 GTI, which had been hanging around for over seven years. This one sold to a couple of collectors who intend to drive and really enjoy it, which is, which is great. We then said goodbye to our super cool flip paint John Cooper Works Mini Cooper S convertible. This one was bought by a young lady and her daughter who just fell in love with the car. I really hope that they get some nice sunny days to enjoy it this year. We've also sold the Mark 1 Focus gear, the Mercedes S430, our Peugeot 206 GTI Weight 180 and our Renault Sport Clio 172, which actually went back to a previous owner who had the car back in 2008. Amazingly, his original bill of sale from Renault was still in the car's history. We've still got the E36 BMW M3 Evolution, which is a lovely car, but is listed for sale. I am expecting to find a buyer at some point in the future, as we all know this will be a big money car one day. But for now, much like everything else we have, we just love seeing it in the garage. As for our Ford Sierra 1.6 GL, well, we've really fallen for this car. It's really got under our skin. It's lovely. It's an excellent survivor car. And for those of you who remember the original video, you'll know that the car needed some, some bodywork, some slight attention to a near side wing, which had a little dent, and some attention to the rear seals, just to halt some kind of minor corrosion that, uh, that had set in. Now the car, it didn't just need this, it deserved it. So we've done it, check it out. On Sunday the 25th of April, it was the Federation of British Historic Vehicle Clubs Drive-It Day. 
So the boys and I took the Sierra out for a 40 mile drive around the coast roads of Cornwall. It drove really well. It is a charming car and caught the attention of lots of people that day with many telling us stories of how they or their parents had had Sierras back in the day. And that's what modern classic car ownership is all about. It's about getting out and using your car or your cars. It's about showing them and sharing them with people and meeting people. These cars are so much more than the plastic, the metal and the rubber of their components. But outside of the RS and outside of the Sierra GL, why sell the cars? Well, the simple answer is to buy more. And we have. Uh, we have bought ourselves an MG ZS 180. We've bought it on eBay. We're going to pick it up next week and we will feature in a future video uh, going up to get the car, the buying process, and our initial thoughts on what should be a really brilliant car. Now we've bought one because we already have in the Pentor Cars collection an MG ZR 160. If you've watched the Peugeot 206 GTI video, you will have spotted that one in the background. We're lucky enough to have an MG ZT 260, the V8. We've had that one for years and again, really look forward to featuring that. And we've got an MGF Trophy 160 in the signature Trophy Yellow. So the ZS 180 actually completes our collection of MG models, the full range that uh, was produced in the early 2000s. So we're really, really excited about getting that. And as I say, we'll feature all of those cars in a future video. We love MGs. We're actually going to get all 14 of the cars that currently make up the Pentor Cars collection out and together for the first time in our history as we host our first Pentor Cars car show next month. And we'll feature that. I'm really looking forward to sharing the entire collection with you. So do join us in about a month's time for that. Also, we may have a Mitsubishi Evolution 6 coming soon, a car that I've wanted to own for many years. So do follow as we purchase that car and uh, share updates in future content. And finally, we are helping out currently with the restoration of a very rare model, Ford Sierra Sapphire. Again, more on that coming very, very soon. But for now though, you can hear the birds tweeting. It's a nice day and I'm gonna to continue to drive this RS on these beautiful coastal roads here at Whitsand Bay in Cornwall. Thank you again so much for watching. Thanks for leaving us comments and thanks for subscribing to the channel. We're really, really happy to have you on this journey with us. And we'll continue to make content and continue to make content about our cars for as long as you keep watching and enjoying it. So thanks so much. Do leave us a comment if you do want to see something in particular on the channel and we'll try to feature it. But for now, from Pentor Cars, Cornish Car Collectors, we will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.